And with that, I introduce to you the Progressive Unionist Party candidate for the Old Park Ward, Miss Julianne Corr. I am both delighted and privileged to address you all today as a young person, as a woman, and most importantly, an unashamed loyalist. In 2006, I became eligible to exercise the democratic right that I was born with. I was eligible to vote, but I didn't. At that time, I was a young person that was disengaged from our political process. I was intimidated and felt that my perspective was a hindrance rather than a help in a post-conflict society. I felt this way up until 2012, when the Council made the decision to replace uh, sorry, to put restrictions on the flying of the Union flag at Belfast City Hall. I was outraged, but ultimately I was inspired by those who came out on the streets to oppose these restrictions. It was during this time that I met inspirational figures and made the decision to turn my anger and my frustration into politi political action. This community and the wider Loyalist family have been left behind. Our areas have been neglected, our people have been pushed to the margins of society, and yet throughout history, it was the same people who healed from these streets around us, particularly the women in this community, who sacrificed the greatest hardships for our own families while Northern Ireland and its people resisted the sectarian onslaught by the Republic intent on obliterating this country. We're among some of the most disadvantaged in this society, yet are hounded, pursued and scapegoated for all of the ills in this society, including the investigations into the legacy of the conflict. Only this week we have had a 75-year-old pensioner arrested for the activity stretching back over to 40 years ago. And whilst Republican on the runs are handed letters of comfort, assuring them that they will not be pursued for their actions of the past. This along with attempts to build a shrine at the Mace against uh, sorry, highlights, side deals that were done between Sinn Féin and other unionists that will be to the detriment of the awful actions inflicted upon the people in Northern Ireland and in particular responsible for the hurt caused to many of the victims as a result of the Republican violence. Returning to why we're gathered here today on 247th day of our campaign to see the Lycanil Brethren and Bandsmen return home, I'd just like to acknowledge uh, the commitment, the generosity and the bravery that is shown by everyone involved in the campaign. From the loyal orders to the Bandsmen and women, the women at the cabin, the camp and you the supporters. The will of our people has saw this campaign 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for almost nine months now, including Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And for the first time in a long time, we've all come together as a community, united with a common purpose and a unified goal, determined to see this campaign to successful conclusion. And I've been inspired again by the commitment shown by you all, who have supported the loyal orders in their hour of need, but most importantly, I am proud I am proud that our people can demonstrate peacefully. I am proud to belong to this community, a community that unites and stands firm in a peaceful protest. There is no threat from the Protestant community. There's nothing to fear. We are a community only seek to express our cultural heritage and our identity as our forefathers have done for hundreds of years. We want settled communities. We want to address the issues of educational underachievement, housing, unemployment, health, criminality and the substance and alcohol abuse that blights our communities in North Belfast. But we also need to recognise that the issues of identity and culture go right to the very heart of the underlying problems that have affected relations in Northern Ireland. We need strong women to represent our communities. We need strong voices to stand up for this community and people who can be trusted not to abandon the people when the going gets tough. We will need people who will not allow the criminalisation and demonisation against our loyalist family to go unchallenged. We need to use the collective will of our people to ensure that we promote and protect our heritage whilst working to address the inequalities that segregate our communities from a prosperous society. My grandparents have stood in this road supporting the return of the Loyal Orders for over 70 years. My mother has stood on this very road supporting the return of the Loyal Orders for 50 years and I have stood with her and my family for the past 26 and I'll continue to stand with you. Yeah. I'd like to close this address today with a very clear but simple message to Sinn Féin. Your actions over the last 18 months are inexcusable and unacceptable. You've contributed to a divided society. You've dragged my community into a cultural war. You've breached agreement after agreement and make little to no effort to promote tolerance for a shared society. 
It is only when you lift your anti-orange policy will we as society be able to truly build a better future. Let them hope.